Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got a, another disaster campaign, although this is another out-of-this-world disaster. Anyway, well, I might lose this campaign. We'll, we'll see. So playing Total War Attila as the Huns. Uh, this is our last army as well, and we're in a defensive battle, and we are got Force March on, so he's, he's pretty fucked. But anyway, before we get into that, this could end up being a short episode. I do have a, a, an idea, but we'll get up to that. I want to talk a little bit about uh, dis the disaster campaigns in general. Um, and, you know, I know that some people will be like, oh, I just want to get onto the campaign, just, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to hear about all this stuff. But look, here's the thing, this, this, uh, disaster series requires your input. If you don't want to have an input on it, that's fine, but, um, I need to be making the best content I can, and I need your guidance for that. I need your guidance and your feedback. And I'm getting to the point now where I'm seeing a slump. We've been doing the the uh, the, ca the disaster campaigns for a while, and you know, about two months, and it's been going really well. The success, ha it's been a very successful series. But just like anything, people start to get bored of it after a while, and I totally understand. Okay, we're starting to see a lot of the same things happening over and over again, which you know it happens. But here's the thing: um, I have like 72 emails sitting in my inbox full of disaster campaigns, and a lot of them are campaigns that are shit. Just not going to be enjoyable to do and not enjoyable for you guys to watch and campaigns that basically I've already covered before you know factions that I've already covered before and so what I'm trying to get at is I want to know your opinion um, I'm gonna set up a straw poll in the description and in the top comment um, the pinned comment um, and I want you guys to vote on it vote on it before you watch this video okay because here's the thing um, using the Gete as an example I have about five or six more disaster save files sitting in my inbox of yeah. Rome 2 Gete. And I've already done Rome 2 Gete. Now, do you guys basically want me to have basically a week's worth of nothing but Gete save files where all I'm doing is Rome 2 disaster, Rome 2 auto resolving? Because that's what I do. I have, I, when I play Rome 2, I don't actually enjoy Rome 2 much anymore. And I prefer to auto resolve it because I actually really don't enjoy the battles especially early game battles. I really don't enjoy them. And it's just kind of fortunate for me that the auto resolve is just so powerful. So let's face it, if I do these campaigns, I'm gonna auto resolve all the battles, uh, just like I did last time. And you know, it's not surprising, but the views on it were not good. Um, and you know, that was, it, it met my expectations in terms of that and that's fine. But should I do four or five or six more of these? That's, that's what I'm trying to get at. Now here's the thing, I get new emails every single day. It's not a case of, I, I just, I can't logistically do every single disaster that's sent to me. I, I logistically cannot. I'm only one person and I have other commitments that I need to do. I can only commit to doing one disaster video really every day because, of, you know, I've got a live stream, I've got to do let's plays, I've got other, other, you know, other behind the scenes work that I need to do. I have emails plenty that are sent from me from companies that I have to reject because they're all like hey hey would you be interested in, in marketing our app no fuck off please you know you know that kind of shit I don't have time to to do everything it's unfortunate I wish I had 36 hours in every day to do to do everything um, but that's just not logistically the case but one thing I can do is try to refine the 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 criteria in which we send in the save files. This is why you know I don't accept mods because if I did accept mods, I, w I would have a hundred emails in my inbox, and the mods would take four episodes to fix. You know, that that's why I've 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 uh, said no to them. It's, it's just purely a case of time. Um, but anyway, the poll simply states this: Should I do disasters of factions that have already been done before? Option one. Don't do faction that you've covered before. Option two, do them only if it's a greater challenge than it was previously. Or three, do them only if I think that you guys will enjoy them. Okay? So in the case of Gete, I think it only would fit into option two. And I, I, like, I haven't had a look at them, but like the other one that I got was pretty fucked. But I can imagine you can, you can send a lot more fucked than that. Um, but I don't think anyone would necessarily... Well, don't think that many people would actually enjoy them. So I'm I'm voting for basically option three, but let I want to know what you guys think because I've got a backup of emails and I want to I want to get this the number of emails in my inbox down to like 40. That that would be my goal. That would be nice if I could do that. Um, 
Uh, that being said, I do appreciate everyone who sent in their disaster save files. I'm doing the best I can to, to do a good job. Some of them I do need to rush a little bit, just because I, you know, there's a lot. And at the end of the day, if I could just fix it, I don't have to fix it perfectly, but if I could just fix it, that's what I'm after. Some of them need to spend more time than others. Alright, now let's get on to this. How do we fix this? I have a plan, and the plan, I think it's the only way we can get out of actual defeat. First step here is withdraw. Can't win that battle, there's no hope if, um, to try and do it. So then they attack us here again. Alright. Now, we can't withdraw this time. And we have the the Vandals here. We have to fight it manually. Now if you're thinking, oh what are you doing, there's no way you can win this. You're right, we're not going to win this battle. But we're going to survive this this turn. If I could survive this turn, I could probably find something to do. You know, the thing is, when I get a disaster save file and it's sent to me during an intern, I can't do anything during that intern save for the battles that have been set up. You know, that's that's the only thing I can do. So I got to get to the next turn to start turning this around. All right, the next thing we have to do is die. I know it sounds weird. I need him to actually die because it's it's weird. But the way Rome 2, Attila, or any of the Rome 2 clones, Rome 2, Attila, Thrones of Britannia, um, Warhammer 1, Warhammer 2, they all more or less work the same because they they have not innovated the code at all, really, um, in the past five years. Like, at all. And to some extent, it's the same thing with Shogun 2. Here's how it works. Every general can get one free runaway. You can run away from a battle once or be defeated once, okay, without your army getting wiped out. You lose again, your army gets wiped out, but there's a loophole. If the general dies on the second battle, somebody else takes command of the of the army. It's, it's a captain, right? And that person technically has only suffered his first defeat. Therefore, on the second time the army has been defeated, since it counts it for the general, not the army, the army can get away, provided that this guy here dies. It's a shame that we couldn't switch him out. I can't switch him out during the end turn. It's a tier 5 general. I can't do anything about that. Because here's the thing. Either the entire army dies and he lives, in which case he dies anyway, or he dies and we live. That's the only option. So, there's no hope of really even doing anything here. So, I'm just going to send him straight in. Uh, is he just... Uh, just wait a little bit, because it would be better if he died closer to them getting here. We want to stay close to the edge of the map so that... Because we don't want these guys here to die, we want them to break. I can't press withdraw. Concede defeat won't work here. either. Doesn't matter. Hang on, hang on. Just make... You gotta make sure he dies. So make sure he gets surrounded. If he runs away... Okay, good, he died. Our general has fallen. An entire unit has perished. Our hidden units have been discovered! We just need them to rout. The enemy are ambushing us! <laughs> Don't want to bother sending the cavalry in first. Those crossbows are a bit of a problem. Stay in this formation here so that they can't shoot us too too easily. Oh, shit. You have to charge at them. Our men, our men feed Cause they'll they'll the they'll run close. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Just gotta run. Run, run, run. Everyone run. Okay, they shouldn't have gotten wiped out there. Everyone's gotta get out. As much as possible. Look, if 77 of them got away, even with just that, that's that's enough that we could probably survive. And they're shooting a lot of their own men as well out here. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing. So let's see now if the if we survive. Now, if they attack us again, I don't know if we can withdraw again. For one thing, I, I can't throw another general away. So two of them got wiped out. Run! It worked. We withdrew again. Can they catch us? They couldn't catch us this turn, but 
you know, we survived the, the turn. We'll see what we can do. All I can hope to do is play it turn by turn here. Oh my god, he's got a lot of enemies. Alright, let's get Bledder up here. Why not? So what happened? We have a Regency. Got some loyalty issues. It's not why is that the case? More influential than the ruler. Who's the ruler? It said where, where is it? Damn, you got a hell of a family tree. Where, where, where the fuck? It? I can't see it. There's Bledder, he's in charge. Where's the faction leader? Where's Attila? He should be born by now. But he should also be just a child. Where is he? Some blind. Oh, there he is. There he is, right here. That's <laughs> blind. Okay, so he's he's uh, the son and heir. So there's a regency at the moment. Okay. So it'll be there for a while. Okay, wh whatever. Uh, let's worry about that later. Why do we have no movement? Maybe it's because we ran away twice. I don't know, I've never seen that happen to the AI, where they just have no movement. Alright, what kind of mercenaries are available? Alright, we've got a fair bit of cash. Alright, so here's what we'll do. We'll... We'll... Encamp. Let's merge this garbage. And... How much, how much could we get? Hmm. Okay, I reckon that's gonna probably make us broke though, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. Should I get Onagers? Nah, they're useful for sieges, but... Honestly, it'd be good if we could get some of that money. Alright, let's get some recruiting done. What you want to get is horse archers. This cheapo horse archers, this one here. Step mounted bows. Looking at the difference. They've got... Yeah, that is not worth twice the the upkeep. I mean, those are good in melee, but let's let's go with cheaper shit for the time being. What do you got here? Demolishing warriors camp. Why? Why were you doing that? Say so leave it there. Come, sit, share my fire. For the gods. Could we Come, fight All right. for Could us. we potentially raise another army? For the crime. Uh, how do I do that? It's been so long since I played Total War. Uh Tiller as the Huns. Ah, oh, that's how you do it. Right, okay. So where are your agents? Yes. What? Oh my god. How many people are you at war with? Oh, get real. What are you doing? Like, a, this is sort of war campaign? No? Get real. We gotta try and get out over here and just, like, encamp for a little while. We've, we've taken too much damage. We gotta... Problem is these guys will try and, like... That's it. Catch up with us. How can I help? Sabotage. If this guy Good. doesn't show up. Cool. Cause we got the the Allens and these guys will fight together. I reckon I could beat that army with what we've got here. Ready for action. And if I could just get a bit of time together and get these horse archers. What do you want? It'd be much better. All right, so you. I don't know. I really I'm not a big fan. Oh, hang on, you should go with the hinder army. Where's that? Misdirection. Okay. 
There'll be no chance of getting any peace trees. That's just not going to happen. So you've got you got a couple of allies, which, truth be told, allies are worthless. And we just have to survive this next turn back. somehow, because we, for some reason, we just weren't able to move. So we might as well encamp. So even though we we um, we hindered them, they still yeah! oh, they used force march. There's yeah, no, I'm not. It's not worth fighting. I can't win that with this. So withdraw. Yeah. Got to try to get somewhere Gathering supplies. where people are going to leave us alone for a while. Well, at least we have a chance in this one. All right, so. Well, I have no choice. We have to fight it manually, but we'll try and win. Ah, oh, man, this... This campaign. God damn it. It's like... It's like how to fail a campaign 101. Step one, pick a horde. Step two, declare war on everyone. Step three, suck. <laughs> it's not even on legendary difficulty. Alright, so we need to get these guys just back over here. And I'll try to utilize my cavalry at first. We've got to try and either snipe the general or something like that. We'll see. Got plenty of time. They outnumber us by about 50%, but that doesn't matter too much. Jesus Christ. The enemy has been sighted! Watch out for their artillery as well. Our general is under attack! Try to go around them. So his general's isolated there. Let's let's split up. Go around the other way. You guys stay back. We want to at least wait until the general's dead, preferably. Probably a good idea to take out those artillery, especially if they're gonna leave him behind. need two units to smash into him, not just one. Because you got to get someone at his rear. Right, I want you to go around here. Actually, go around this way. Because once they're down there, they'll slam in from this side. And have the general keep drawing in the infantry up this way. Alright, the artillery's been sorted. I think, I think the audio is just a little bit loud. Let me just drop it down a bit. Alright, the artillery is defeated. We didn't lose anyone. That's good. In a battle like this, um, I'm just, I'm just talking, but I'm not trying to complain or anything. I'm, I'm very much aware that uh, sometimes you get these backseat gamers, right? And you know, it's fair enough. And they'll, they'll say things along the line of, "Ugh, why did you micro so hard on that one? You didn't have to cheese so hard. You could have won there just, you know, playing it normally." And it, in my opinion, it comes from people who focus on multiplayer, and uh, you know, multiplayer online battles, and. There's, there's, here's the thing that I've noticed about people who play multiplayer online battles. They're usually not that good at campaign because they can't think beyond the battle. Um, the thing is with this, right? 
Winning the battle is one thing. Winning it well is important because what happens if we get attacked again this turn? What happens if we get attacked next turn? You know? The more of these guys that survive, the better. We don't just get to auto-replenish them all. I can't hire more mercenaries because I'm not going to have that much money. Well, I can hire maybe a little bit more. So these are things that need to be taken into account, which is why we, like I said, why we have to win well. Alright, split up again. And I do, you know, I hear that from time to time. So if you're one of those people that just like, why, why, why are you always trying to win these battles with no casualties? Because he's got fucking 50 enemies. That's why. If he don't, if I, if I knew that there was nothing else coming here, then sure, yeah, no worries. We'll just go in charge. No big deal. But that's just not the case. All right, now we need to wait for a weakness to open up. Okay, there's one actually. Try to hit their missile units because they're going to reduce the range in which we can sort of harass them. You over here as well. You come over this way. Actually, I might need two because there's two here. Be very careful because a, a stray javelin could stick the general in his face and kill him. Nine people. Nine, just like that. More than that, twelve. Fucking hell. More, yeah, fourteen. Man, these guys are a bit of a glass cannon. Far it will. It's too late now. So can we make them break. Watch out for the archers. Don't desperately need to wipe them out, just shatter them. Okay, cool. Good. Those were some dangerous units there, so. And, you know, reasonably well protected. Look at this, look at this. They left them unprotected. Problem is, they're running towards their infantry. You're not going to get there in time. We're not fast enough. The enemy are ambushing us. Try and get around them here. Make them rout skirmish mode in that direction. You feign an attack here. That's it. Herd them away. Oh shit! <laughs> so much for the feign attack. You haven't had a good day today, have you? Come on, you gotta hurry up. Slaughter them quickly. And then there's just a unit of slingers. It's there, okay. Come on, hurry up. Now you gotta, you gotta shatter them. I don't think, I don't think it did a whole lot. Let me just drop it down a little bit more. Just a little bit. I'm trying to get these levels just right. Alright. Now we've just got this one here. Alright. So what I want to do is feign a charge in this way. And make him come out th the back here, where these guys will be waiting for him. From the side, come around the back of them. Get in there. Oh, you might as well use the last of your Overall, so far, we've got the better of them. I've made a couple of mistakes, you know, charging in where I didn't mean to. Popped out of nowhere there. Come on, come on, come on. Get him out of there. I don't want to attack him yet, we've got to get him away from them, we're just, we're trying to hurt him. That's what we're trying to do now, utilize their skirmish mode. They don't realize how actually safe they are right there. There we go, we got him moving. Get him out of, get, just keep him moving in that direction. Actually, we could probably just break him now.
get back. Taking a little bit of damage. Just a little bit. Okay, stay away from me. Okay, good. It shattered. Get back. Man, we lost fucking 10 men. Oh, more than that, man. Those spears. Yeah, you really can't have cavalry, light cavalry like this, fighting spears. Well, it's, it's more like the detachment penalty. It's very severe. Okay, well, all of their missile units have now been defeated, so there's that. Now let's bring in our miss. Uh, let's bring in our slingers to just try to thin them out a little bit. Thin them out a little bit so I can get to the enemy general. He's been pretty well protected apart from at the beginning. But I need to be able to get at him. I want to save them because of their whistle shot until the end of the battle. Well, as until the general's dead. But I gotta find where the fuck it went. I hate fucking trees. I can't find where I want to go. Shoot at those young wolves. If I could try and get these guys to turn around a little bit, that would be good. There's the enemy general. Here we go. Getting to shoot them in the back. I don't want to use precision shot because we've got to get them out of there after this as well. How much ammo? They've used up almost. Oh yeah, they've used up half now. Just want to get them to turn around. Before they get too close. Okay, you guys need to keep moving. Once they've used up their ammunition, they might as well just leave the battlefield. Oh, they, they can't report you with three ones. Alright, where's that general gone? Okay, I gotta split up again. Now, our axe infantry here should do pretty well against these spears, so I might have them go and fight them. I, I really want to kill their general, but he's not giving me good opportunities to... This is why we want horse archers. Horse archers, we can just, you know, shoot them from a distance. As long as the axes aren't fighting, like... Shitloads of them at a time should be fine. If the general can just keep them busy. We'll kill them all. Protected, I can't go after him. He has to be separated from his, his unit. Right, you guys come right over here. Get ready to charge into their rear. Okay, I'm going to need to get the archers over here to shoot those pikes. I really want to kill the general, but they're doing a pretty good job of keeping him protected. Right. 
hit a little bit. into their rear. Actually, uh, give them one load of whistle shots since we're about to charge in. Kill the enemy generals. It's, it's going pretty well so far. You guys get over here. Shoot it wherever the archers aren't going to take so much damage. Flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Fearless warriors. Just need that general to die now. Whenever the hell that's going to happen. In pike formation. Bounce power is moving in our favor. Okay, whistle shot now, quick. Make the rest of oh, fuck me. He came up my rear there, couldn't see because of fucking trees. Our men are breaking up. Alright, there we go. They're all fleeing now. Move on. Bit of damage, if we have a look at it. We lost about 500 men. But overall, we won the day. Let's hope we don't get attacked again, because pulling that off again is going to be tough. You know, against against an equal size force. I need to do better. Absolutely, we got to run down as many of them as possible. I don't want to fight these again. victory, how about that? 400 to near 3,000. We didn't wipe out the entire army though. None of our units got wiped out. Which I guess is fine. Oh, my god. We actually killed their entire army. How about that? Wasn't expecting that. Yeah. 
Yeah, we need that replenishment. We could come under attack again. Come on, give us that next turn. This is what I was talking about. Why you need to, you need to win well. Now we can we can win this. They got a lot of missile units and this, our cavalry. Well, we did take a little bit of damage. But it's not that bad. All right. Well, we have no choice. We have to fight it. Well, you know, unless you want to, you know, get your general killed and then have everyone rout. No, we're going to win this. Okay, so they've got they've got some units of cavalry. It would be ideal if oh fuck me fog as well great. It would be ideal if they would go up against the infantry early on. So I'll try to lure them that way. They might come raging at us, but I don't know. Whilst our cavalry, don't get me wrong, they could beat them. Then we'll have fewer men to take out the archers. These odds are not good. Conventional tactics, you know, setting up your line and going up against them is just asking to die. I'm not, I'm not willing to give up on this just yet. If we can just get through this turn here. We've got the vandals coming as well. well that's not good. Got to get rid of their cavalry first. Then their missile units, then their general, then the rest of them will fall to pieces. Bless this poorly. They're trying to stay as much as possible in formation. Why we need horse archers. Okay, good. We've got this one's attention. Come after us. Good. Good. Draw them away from the troops. This will be easy to kill him. Don't fire at will just yet. The enemy is attacking our general! And make sure he shatters. I don't want to fight him again. Okay, we got we got more coming. Get out. Mercenary dramatic mounted war band is what we've got. Come on. Fuck. Shit. Double shit. We didn't get enough time to get away. Fuck. You're gonna have to push them away. Push them away. Be like, fuck off, bitch. We're busy. No running away from this. Oh, God damn it, I want them to charge into its rear. Come on, make it break. We gotta get away from those fucking slingers. Okay, good. Go, 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 go. Everyone go. Oh, they get fucking stuck fighting. This is fucking Warscape kill, kill animations. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Don't even care if they come back. Get them out of there. Good. I'm glad they didn't push too hard on that. And it shattered as well. Very nice. Took a little bit of damage, but, you know, that's... We got the better of him in that. Right, I want you guys to be more over this way. Now, I believe there's one more unit of cavalry somewhere. Of course, we have a hard time seeing because of the... Because of the fog. But it's there somewhere. How tired are they? Somewhat. Okay, they're sending a bunch of guys out this way. Just a couple. Okay, there's the general. Two, three, four. Yeah, you 
guys need to stay the hell out of this. Just for the time being. Actually, why don't we go around over that way and fight them. Leave these guys behind and go deal with this first. They split their army up in two. It'll take them a while to get back here. Draw them further in this way. That way we're fighting like two smaller battles at once. There's their crossbows. I don't think they sent that many melee troops up this way. Make our stand about here. Get them to charge in on them soon. I want you to just make them fall back a little bit. Push back. Okay, that one doesn't have much. We went too far, too close. Damn it, I may have, may have blown it. Back, back. I can't fucking see properly because of the damn fog. The AI choose, chose wisely to chose, choose the fog. Alright, we're going to need these guys to just go in all that attack. Now, what th these guys here lagging behind come charging into their rear. rest of their melee troops. Take out those crossbows, that's an important unit. The enemy has discovered our hidden troops. How are they doing here? You know, do not fire at will. If you're gonna shoot anything, shoot at the. I don't know. Shit, I need to get these guys out of combat now. Balance of power is not horrible. Keep doing. Might need you to get into that shot. Shoot, shoot him, I guess. Go back around over here, hit them in the rear. I won't win in a fight like that. It's working. Shit, stand back. Right, keep these guys falling back. Bounce of power's in our favor. We're gonna we're gonna win at this current rate. Back up there. Okay, good. You've killed them. That's great. Move back. Get back now. Get into another another situation like that. That'd be good. We yeah, we got, we definitely got the better of them. Bounce of power's in our favor now. So once again, we could go in there and just win. But what if somebody else attacks us over this end turn? So let's let's play it smart. Get back, let them have a little bit of a rest. See if we can pick off all of those other units. They have no more cavalry anymore. Not too fussed about running them down to the last man. Just focusing on winning at this stage. Let them have a bit of a rest.
Good, left him out in the open. Yum yum. Skirmishes for breakfast. Back off, back off. Right over here. Shit, I don't want them skirmishing, but it's too late to get out of there. Took a little bit of damage, nothing major. See that they don't have that many melee troops now. They're in skirmish, uh, loose formation. Turn around, shoot them. Kill, kill, kill. This nice little gap they left open for me. I was, was very happy with that. Enemy units have returned to the battle. Okay, that is the last of their missile units. Now, I last saw the enemy general around over here. Let's see if we go back that way. So, I don't want to waste my ammunition on guys with you know, these shields. These guys here did a really good job last time against Spears, so use them again. I didn't want to go. Pikemen! They will bleed for us! There he is. Warriors, eat up the blood! All men! Orders, I will die! Okay, I'm gonna be shooting them in the back. Damage, but it's alright. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Get this guy out of here, it's gonna be tough. We have to go north after this. North and hide. So I've got him with like a full stack of horse archers, he'll be fine. He should be fine as long as he knows how to use them. We have gained the upper hand! We'll kill them all! If he doesn't know how to use them, he shouldn't be playing his arms, that's for sure. Don't worry about the rest of that, we can recharge that, no problem. Yeah, shoot the slingers, because they're really weak to missiles. Yeah, horse we'll sandwich, motherfucker. If you like them apples.
like I said, the pikes just cannot handle being shot. Looks like that. Turning chicken shit. Good. We just need to finish off the general now. Whistle shot would finish him off. No. We're over here. Let's just shoot this. We can easily just charge in and finish him off. Because they're not good fighters. No, we don't. Yeah, he keeps. If they get shot a little bit, they'll break again. We'll run them down. Try to get them shot in the back. Nice. Come on, there we go. Uh, wait, hang on. Did he actually break? There we go. Yeah, he's not coming back now. Good. Another horse sandwich, motherfucker. Gotta finish him off. Yeah, kill him. Why not? He was gonna kill us. Shoes on the other foot now, bitch. Give me a couple of cav and I'll do what I can with you. If you give me nothing but infantry, I can't work with that. Nice, and that was a horde. Maybe they'd be good if it finishes off the Rugians entirely. Once again, we need... They did, we wiped them out. How about that? We ended up defeating them. Huh. Of course, we still got the Allens to contend with. Come on, let me have my intent. Yes! Okay, we can, can get out of here, maybe. Oh, All right. Man, you must have leveled up you know, a little bit. Missile attack rate for Horde. Campaign movement range. Yes, please. That'll be especially useful. Okay, so we've got an Allen army over here. They're not really in very good shape. Do we have any mercenaries here? Now, here's the th he's in force march, yeah. Yes. Wait, no, they're the Vandals, not Allens. Um to encamp, we need to have at least 25% movement left over. Could hit a Colonia Agrippina. We don't know what's there. Why don't I send... How can I help? Let me see. Yes. Let me send you to go have a look. Don't worry about hindering him. There's no one there. He can't reach us from here. Ready for battle. So let's, let's move up this way. Move most of the way. Franks are also up that way. I need somewhere where we can just encamp in peace and get those units that I want. How's your growth coming along? It's, it's still going to be a bit, little while until we, we can get another army. Alright. Uh, we want to get... See, it's all desolate shit up this way. If I can get him up, back up to here... He'll be safe. Colonia Agrippina. If I attack it, we won't be able to encamp. Like I said, I just don't know what's out there. It's a bit of a risk, but we'll have to take it. Come to here. 
If we could just have a couple of turns of peace, or even just one turn of them not get making us withdraw. For the gods. Oh shit. We need to go a little bit further. Thirsty for battle. I know he's on force march there. So I gotta get these troops down. Right. Make your ancestors proud. All right. So what have you? Don't worry about that stuff right now. Yeah, another unit of Germanic mercenary mounted warband would be good. I know they're kind of on the expensive side, but. That's fine. We'll start phasing out some of these guys for just all horse archers, pretty much. We've got the money for it. You just need to... And this stuff repaired, that's good. Um, food's pretty good at the moment. Let me just see. What, what have you got? You got goats. Goats. Yeah, goats are the way to go. Because it provides the most money, right? No, it doesn't. Cattle does. But that, is that because of fertility? Um, no, well, the goats provide, well, actually, the, that provides the most money, but still, you will need food. Integrity minus one. The integrity's fine, don't worry about that. You can afford that, and it, it will increase his income by just a time. Yeah, but that's a problem. Only by a tiny amount. Maybe we should go with the shepherd's camp. We don't need more food. We need more money. Come, sit, share my fire. Now, there was another Allen force around here. Is there he is. Okay, he's too far away to get to us. You're in force much. Okay, they, they're very unlikely going to get to us. Unless they've got another army. It's not on legendary difficulty, so shouldn't be. If we could just get through this turn. Having... Having these three horse archers here will just make it so much easier to defeat these kinds of armies. So much easier. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Whatever you're doing, leave me alone. Go away. Don't attack us. Come on. End. Next. Next turn. Next person's turn. Next, please. Come on. What are you doing? Agent action or something? Yeah, agents. Alright, cool. And the Franks had their turns as well, so we look like we might be safe. Kind of. I mean, they're coming. But now we can actually beat them. I just needed one turn to recruit. That's all I needed. Excellent. Wavering loyalties. Mission failed. Whatever. United against us. Yeah, that's, that's going to happen. But they're too far away for us to worry about that. Um, it l okay, it doesn't look like they did anything to us, which is good. And he leveled up again. Also good. Needs campaign movement range. That's so important. Also, melee attack. That helps. Uh, food from... Ammunition for missile carrot uh, things. Yeah, go with that. What is all? Cool. With these guys here, that will make a big difference. Now, if we were to attack this here, that other army does come in to help, but this don't have another army, you know, supporting it. It's not that dangerous, really. They'll probably actually run away. So our guy here is stupid. Uh, it's not that big of a... Wait, yeah, yeah. Let me check him again. No, no, it's not him. I was looking at someone else. Alright, what else we got over here? Research rates, campaign spotting, recruitment cost. Upkeep cost, that's not important. For, you know, for military... Thing. Oh, what are we researching as well? Uh, yeah. 
Yes, please. Hey, okay, what do we got here? Morale versus Barbarian Kingdoms. Mm, not that important. That's pointless. I guess we'll keep that. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, definitely. That's good. Yeah, you, you're going to want to be able to move around a lot. Okay, okay. Looks like I might actually be able to save this. I really, honestly thought I was fucked as soon as I saw this. I was like, nah, you're screwed. But here we go. Is there anything, like, where you could increase our movement or something? I don't know, just... I'm not, I'm not too familiar on the agent actions. We could raise it to the ground. How many settlements do the Vandals have? They've got two. Another one down here. On our way. Cross the river there. If we cross the river, that'll make it even harder for them to get us. If we do this, though, we won't be able to encamp. And there is the Franks up this way as well. So why don't we go and have a little looky up this way to see what the Franks are up to. Okay, nothing to be concerned about up that way. We should burn our way through that. They're all gone. You got Illyria coming up your ass as well. And they've got some decent units. Next season's going to be autumn. Should have gone up that way. Starting out. Okay, if I cross the river here, I might still be able to raise the settlement to the ground, and they'll have a hard time catching me. Ten gray guides, my step. We take this settlement for the tribe. Yeah, we want to take no casualties at all. So, you know what? I might even sack the settlement. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, wait. They get towers. Wait, they get... Oh, I'll just use my archers to burn it down. It should be fine. So, or I can burn this down here. Alright, let's go. Eat up our blood. Warriors, move out. Oh, hang on, hang on. They're coming out like a bunch the of idiots. Right. Never mind. Never mind. We have numbered the enemy. Time for the horse heart just to get a little bit of. A little bit of experience. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, they're not. Because uh, the archers will have greater range than the cavalry. Good, this is what I want. I want them to come out here. So that these guys can then shoot them. Our troops are being ambushed! Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle! The enemy general of the day is yours! This will also give us some extra growth. So we can, you know begin the process of recruiting another general. Uh, recruiting another horde. Keep it side by side. Oh, wait. You can't... You get a rivalry penalty. Uh, see how we go. Can we sack and raise it? I, th I think we can, can't we? You can't do that in Total War Warhammer. They fixed that. Oh, How can I help? 
Yeah, yeah, there you go. That'll only teach him a lesson. Lesson B, fuck off. Okay, so what do we need next? Fake these guys. No, you don't need that. Enemy morale, minus one local region. It's not that important. Integrity winning camps, not that important. Army recruitment capacity. Okay, yes, that is important, but it's going to be ages before you get down to that. Right, let's do those two. Okay, merge this, disband him, and then replace it with... Because they did very well in that other battle. Yeah, they're going to have a hard time catching us now. Uh, where are our other spies and what stuff? There's a spy there, spy here. How can I help? How can I? Seventy-three percent. Yeah, if you could slow that one down, that'd be good. Make him go away, because we get, we have to winter next turn as well. We've got to win camp. Wait, did that work? Go I didn't check. Praised. How can I help? Yeah, fifty. Okay, it worked. Cool. What do you cool, cool, cool. Oh, elements coming as well. Need that cavalry. Alright, we'll see if the if the Vandals might actually accept a peace treaty. Very Vandals. My time is better spent feasting and hunting than listening. No, they won't do it. So be quick with your uh, Let's see, those who like us. Wow, jeez. Alright, let's have a look at who's stronger than us. Maybe the Visigoths might accept the tributary state. To sweet and true. Nah. Can't protect them properly anyway. Alright, so if we look at this. Ah, oh, I used up two growth to build this. I mean, we could cancel that. If we cancel the growth, we could... I think that's important. Cancel that. Wait, you can reinstate a legacy. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. 70 years old. He's the current king. Didn't he die? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, logistics expert means... 1%. Like, why do they even put that in there? Right, now they'll have a rivalry penalty, which will reduce food and integrity, but apart from that, that's okay. If we have a look at tax rates, we can increase it to there. Reduces growth heavily. Yeah, look, it's not worth it. Just keep it down where it was. We'll be fine. Alright, move on. I'll get both of these guys out into the steps. Hopefully. So what are the Vandals going to be doing this time? The Alamans are on their way, but I'm confident I can beat that army. We won't be able to move much in this winter, will we? Oh shit, we can't cross it over that way. I may need a second episode for this. Thirsty for battle. Yeah. What is all? Ready for action. Who are be brave? How can I help? Right, so he can only recruit honey horse archers. That's not what we want. We want the, st the step-mounted bows. Much cheaper. Alright, we don't need step spearmen. They suck. 
fight for us. Because what we want to be doing is recruiting them and then transferring them into this army here. Bots? He starts off with four growth. Step-mounted bows come from here. Yeah, you'll need that. Good, we got campaign movement movement range. Got to get through the winter. Can't be moving around in winter. The AI, they don't take the same penalties we do. Missile attack raids, missile damage. Step horse archers re replace step-mounted bows. No, we don't want that. No. No. All right, what else have we got out here? Horde growth plus one. Wealth from industrial buildings. All right, we'll go with that. There's too many missile units in that for that to be properly effective against us. Where are the other? Are they, these? He's moving back. Yeah, you watch. They'll move all the way over here. They won't take any movement attrition. Then they take it during end turn. It's fucking retarded. That's actually really good because now I can burn that cert burn that army down and the settlement again. They just bypassed us. Alright. That was unbelievably stupid of them to do that. The Huns are right there. I must own the settlements. They'll they'll occupy the settlements when it's not effective for them, but they won't do it when it's when it's it is effective for them. Roman separatists. So yeah, see they took a little bit of attrition, only a little bit. Now the elements, where do where have they come from? Fucking yeah, core of the way through the world. To get over here. Bum holes. Well, anyway, we got go. more horse archers now, so that's good. Ready for action. Glad be brave. How can I help? Just trying to think what to do. Well, who should instigate this attack? Because he just, he needs to recruit more. So what we'll do is stand up for a moment. Come. Sit, share my fire. Hang on. You besiege it. We take this settlement or the tribe. Transfer three. Sword of my people. Are you fucking kidding Move me? Out. Why does this army half the time have no movement points? Do battle! Because I wouldn't... Uh, we, we'll just have to sack it first. Oh, I do siege to their hovels. We should fight this battle manually just because I have to keep this at an absolute minimum casualties. Now, after we've done this, the Vandals might accept peace. They might. they got no towers this time. That's a different settlement than it was last time. Yeah, so you know that place we just burnt to the ground? It turns out the river fucking changed. Oh, let's try. Alright, reinforcements. Stay near the reinforcements. So yeah, they're gonna fight like absolute ass. Look! Friendly banners! Our reinforcements arrive! This city is at the brink of ruin. The enemy tremble before our superior numbers. All right, keep the infantry back. This is a job for horse archers. The enemy 
draws near. All oh, right, we have to go across the river. Once he's got more money, he can go for the uh, the better versions. But you know, you need to you need to get that infrastructure set up first. All right, let's go flaming shot. You got, you're gonna have to deal with the with these guys here first. Flaming shot against infantry, that doesn't work. I mean, it'll get some damage, just not much. I see. That's okay, the, the missile units can easily handle them. Yeah, just keep him back. Keep it on heavy shot. Still does damage to cavalry. The enemy have rallied their units. Oh, shit, it's an Look, they're hidden units. Turn around for a second. That's actually going to take us a while to heal. It's alright. Still, we're going to take far fewer casualties than what we would have if we had fought them, you know, when they first came onto the scene. Need to kill him. Took a little bit of damage, unfortunate, but you know, we'll be recovering more than that each turn as long as we can recruit three of them you know, per turn. And soon he'll be able to recruit his own. Given our base income, we should be able to afford two full stacks of that. To sack it, because I need him to encounter. Ready for battle! Come, sit, share my fire! Yeah, I don't know what happened with this. He must have gotten... I don't know. It's just, he just doesn't have any movement. I think it was this one here. You have my sword. I gotta get him out of the army, because if they hinder him, it hinders the entire army. He's... He's not doing us any favors there. That's okay, we can just stay put. Um... I need you to better get moving. I hunger for blood to it. glory. Alright, here's what you do. Ready for get him. He's not gonna be able to in camp, I think, but pick up three of these. Starting out ones that aren't damaged because he's not gonna heal. Gods be praised, excitement! Yeah, then he can't in camp, but that's okay. Thirsty for battle. Glad be praised. How can I help? Fight! Make your ancestors proud. And hopefully next turn, we can move him out. Honestly, it would be... Yeah, see, he got he got hindered. 
Fuck, I should have t taken him out of the uh, army before. Come, sit. You sense, but fire. nothing I can do about that now. Now, with the vandals, let me just see about piecing out with them. You have the ear of my nope. people. They won't have it. Moving on. Good. At least as our army gets stronger. Yeah, I'd rather just stop it. War! Oh, shit. We will make your homes a waste. Not the end of the world, we can deal with it. Please tell me we can move this turn. I'm sorry, but this guy is, is holding us back. You just fucking, you shouldn't have attached him in your army in the first place. And that's why we were stuck there before, because he was hindered. Sorry, I, you know, you, you're going to lose the campaign if you keep that guy fucking attached to your army. Pure and simple. Ready for battle. We've got to get moving. We can't stick around here, especially now that they're coming down from here. It really doesn't bother me that they're rebuilding here. For battle. But I will On the move, lads. Gods be praised. See if if without his movement, if I had attached those units over here, we wouldn't be able to do this. We take this settlement for the truck. Now fuck off, vandals, and don't come back. Uh, elements. Oh shit, they're coming in with the second army. Well, we've got lots of horse archers now. If we have to deal with this, we, we can. I think, because it's mostly infantry. Mostly. And we'll get the option to fight large battles since we've got more than a 20 stack. Are you ready to do your duty? Actually, if you could hinder him, that would be great. Low chance of success, but give it a shot. Alright, let's get to this in turn. Now the odds are bad, but we don't control large army, right? Snipe the enemy general, and then he'll fight like a like a like a pile of shit as well. We use whistle shot. Okay, so missile units. God damn it! There's a lot. I think I think we'll, what we'll need to do is withdraw some of our units immediately so that we can get the other horse archers in. Okay, just stand back for the time being. Uh, let's see, i got to reorganize this. Just come there. Actually, you know what? I won't have you with the army. There's no sense... Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Reinforcements come from over there, that's okay. They won't have any reinforcements come in at first. Just play it calm. We'll be fine. Reinforcements have arrived. Just 
trying to think because we've got we've got these horse archers here, right? Lots of them. You're gonna have to go. Go right over here. Okay, look, him withdrawing from the No, save him for later. Look, I really don't think the pikemen are gonna be useful for us in this battle. Take him out, and that way we can we can bring in the other horse archers, which will be useful for us in this battle. Now we might not be able to win. We might have to withdraw. But god damn it, I am going to kill a fucking lot of them. With Thanos as my witness, I will kill a lot of them. I will kill half of them, at least. As for them, just hang back over here and see what we can do. Now we got to get rid of these these cavalry here first. That's just made them move faster. More horse archers that just came in there now. Come around this way. It's fine. I might have to withdraw all of the infantry. I don't know if I can get them out of there. Look at how they've left him behind over here. That's great. Okay, stop wasting ammunition on that. refuses to admit defeat. Their unit has rallied. Yeah, I'm going to withdraw them. They're not going to be of any use to us on this battlefield. I only need the cavalry. Can take them out. Now might be a good time to withdraw. Nah, shut the fuck up. We'll be fine. We might not win, but goddammit, we are going to hurt them. And we're going to hurt them without taking too much damage either. That's the plan here. Got to be very careful with what ammunition I have. Shit. Let's get them out of the way. I shouldn't be trying to do multiple engagements all at once, can I? Damn it, what the fuck are you guys doing? Jesus Christ, come on! Missile units, what's going on here? That that's that's not a good start right there. Holy crap, those crossbows. See, the problem is I have to keep an eye on all these different units. The micromanage what's going on. Like him dying, I could probably replace that unit in this province, so it's not that big of a deal. But it just sucked because it's gonna. That's, you know, one fewer cavalry units that I can really rely on now. Okay, yeah. Back over here. Okay, that way, once someone shooting him in the back. He's dying, he's going down. Now remember that the horse archers are going to be alright at dealing with um, uh, missile units as well, so that's okay. Mm, 
not a good idea. Just push him back the over. Enemy general is fallen. Thank you. Okay. Over here first, that's where we need to go. Okay, you should have no trouble taking him out now. It's time for a whistle shot. We need every, every whistle shot to count. Every shot of whistle shot to count. So, how about you come over here first and shoot those Germanic pikes. Man, look at them. Cowards to the last. God, this is just, this is, oh, I, I enjoy this, <laughs> alright, now we're talking motherfuckers, now we're talking, told you we didn't need the infantry, don't let them get away, but you know, let's look at these guys out here. Those crossbows will not be fun to deal with. At least they're all separated. Stop firing at will. Well, that's basically the first army dead, so that is good. And we still got plenty of ammo. It's not good enough just to just to win the battle, though. We have to kill them. Can we get you to safety? These guys have to die. Over here, just a you know, whistle shovel. Uh, sorry, a volley of whistle shovel. Sort them out. Just one volley should do it. The thing is, they're so far away from home. They they can only pick up some mercenaries here. That's that's all they can hope to do. Back up over here. Can't go charging in there just yet. He's caught. Well, actually, if we give him a shot of whistle, just one, and then charge in there, we might just break him. Good, we got him. Uh, 
we should withdraw. You should consider withdrawing. We're going to lose. Oh, hold my beer. Hey, religion, I don't like it when you're that arrogant. Yeah, you won, but you could be less arrogant. Yeah. I know, I know, but it's fun. It's fun. I want to gloat. Look at this. Oh, you don't stand a chance at this battle. You're definitely going to lose. The only problem I have here is that there's too, it's like too close to the uh, red line. I'm not going to be able to kill them all in time. All the, all the grand slaughter. But that being said, there, if they couldn't win with this, they... Oh my god. Things that are coming in now are just, just um, more missile units it seems. I think all their spearmen are already out. I didn't want them to route here. This is not ideal, but we do what we can. God speak good. We are moments oh, away from so victory. close as well. I nearly lost my army. Suffered so many casualties. Illigent. I would like it if you didn't use the wind cheese. You're supposed to lose that battle. It breaks my emotion. I'm butthurt because I don't like you and I wanted you to lose. So could you just lose for me next time? <laughs> I think I'm going a bit too far with it now. I'm just... I'm just I, I, like I expected to win. Sort of. I didn't expect to win that well. Oh, 72 casualties. Oh, yeah, because of what happened to him. Right. Damn, they, ain't, they they should just go home after that. Don't come back. Would have been nice if we could have killed more of them, but if they just come back, we'll give them the same treatment. I'll take the money, I suppose. Come, sit, share my fire. Alright, so we're at an hour and 40 minutes. I will do another episode on this one. I think we only need one more. This was to bring them back from the brink of death. The next thing I need to do is get him to safety. Find a nice safe spot where he can just build up his economy a little bit. Build up, I'll put him a proper Hunnic army. Don't give me that fucking Hunnic spearman shit, okay? You want horse archers, okay? That's what you want. It's the best units in this game. I mean, they can't get the Spet Zion archers army, which are better. But, you know. We make do with what we can. Anyway, that's the end of this one, so like and subscribe. Part 2 of this will be next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. And don't forget to fucking uh, poll. Uh, to check the, um, the, uh, the straw poll. I want to know what you guys think. See you next time, fuckers.